Now we begin with the part one, the MCQ part or the electronic part for the grade 11 advance. The first question is graphing points with polar coordinates. I will try my best to go through the shortcuts, uh, you know, easy calculator methods because you will have the four options. But some of the problems don't have shortcuts. You need to know the formulas. You need to understand the technique. Now, for example, this problem is basically multiple representation of polar coordinates, right? These formulas must be known. And then there are tough problems where you need to understand the concept just by memorizing you may not get the answer. Some problems, yes, but not all the problems. So try to focus on this because this is a bit tricky uh, question, you know. So what this is, is now imagine you have a point, say 120 degrees. I'll choose 120 over here. 120 degrees and what is the radius? 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is the coordinate given to you. You need to find the other ways to represent this. 4, 120 means from here I will draw 120 degrees and I'll reach to this point. So that's 120 degrees and radius is 4. There is another way to reach from here, right? This way I can come down and I can reach it out over here. But how much degrees do I have to travel? From the other side means it will be negative degrees. But from here it's 120, so the other side will be 240 degrees, right? If I count, see it's 90, 180, and if you add this, it will be 240 degrees. Now then, what is the radius? From here, it's the same. 1, 2, 3, 4. It's 4 only. So the formula in general is given by whatever the angle is there, subtract 360 degrees minus 360. Then what about the other thing? You can even reach this, say if this is uh, 120, you can even go over here, this line. Can I say this line? And then you can trace back to the opposite sign. That means go backwards. That is also fine. So you must reach this. What is this degrees now? This is from here to 70 to uh, 300. This is 300, right? I'm just going to, yeah. So this is 300 degrees. So if you do 300 degrees from here and then trace back 1, 2, 3, 4, you will reach the same point. So let us change the color for this. So it will be 300 degrees. Okay, that's 300 and then you're going 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 4, not plus. So minus 4, 300 degrees is a possibility as well. But how do you get this? It's simple. For this 120, right, you add 180 degrees. What happens? It's 300 degrees. But whenever you add or subtract 180, you need to change the radius sign. And lastly, what do we have over here? This side also is possible. So what you do is subtract 180 degrees now. When you subtract 180, you'll get minus 60. So this is minus 60 degree and then trace back 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's minus 4. Minus 4, comma minus 60. So these are all the four ways. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the given question, yes. But these are the three different ways to represent the same point. Now this is what we will be doing over here. Now, in calculator, it's directly possible for many problems. All you need to do is subtract 360, add 180, and subtract 180. Let's try solving it up. Let's take our calculators over here. Now, we have 1 and 150 degrees. So, I'll have 150 degrees subtract by 360. It's minus 210. If you look over here in the question, they have clearly mentioned it can be within this limit. So, as long as it's within that limit, it's fine. Yes, it is less than 360. So that is one of the answer. Whenever you add or subtract 360, remember you leave uh, the radius as it is. But now I will change this. Let me subtract it from 180 degrees. It's minus 30, but this will become minus 1. Let's look into the answers. See, first answer what I got, the same one, 1, and it was minus 110 when I subtracted 360. It was within the range. Next one over here, I got minus 30 degrees and this will be minus 1. And I'll just change this minus to plus here. It's 360 degrees and minus 1. So these are the multiple representation. It will work many times, but look at this problem. Let's try this. 300 minus 360 will be minus 60. Absolutely, it's fine over here. Same radius, minus 2, minus 60. Now what we will do is we will subtract this by 180. Will it work? 
Yes, because 360 is more, you have got 120 and the sign must be changed. From minus now, you have to change to opposite sign, it will be plus. But now look at this. If I add 180 degrees, right, it is 480 degrees. Now, this is a problem because it's beyond the limit. Now, you might think, okay, I will take the co-terminal. I'll subtract this by 360. But no, you're not getting the other answer. You're getting basically 120 itself. So how would you get this? So basically, adding and subtracting 180. Now, this is 120, right, over here somewhere. You need to find the co-terminal. So this is the straight code. Co-terminal to 120 degree. So the easier way, other than memorizing minus 540 and all, the shortcut is very simple. You will get one answer. The same answer, you will easily get it. When you add or subtract 180, one answer will be there. See, I will show you. 300 minus 180, you will get the answer, right? For this particular value, 120, right? Subtract 360. What happens? That is your answer. This is it. So because it's MCQ, you don't need to write all this. You don't need to write the formulas. Just remember, do the three formulas. And if at all you, if one value is exceeding, find the other way, other value. In the sense, this particular value, minus 360, that will give it. Now let's look into other problems. What if there are in radians? Okay, now one more thing I have to tell you before going. Now imagine the problem was such that you were getting this answer correctly, okay, minus 240. But when you say subtracted something from minus 240, you know, other value was exceeding it. If you do minus 180, it will be exceeding it. So this was the problem. So in such cases, when there is minus 240, you can't again subtract by, sorry, not subtract these. This will exceed, right? You should just add it up. Okay, that, this is how we find it. So you need to look at the value obtained. When I saw here, it's 120. Okay, I easily subtracted by 360. But some cases, you will have to add by 360. Let us see that cases. Now, let's, I think so you might get it in this problems. Now, here it is in terms of pi. What I would personally suggest is just convert it to uh, degrees only. Minus 7, pi is what? 180. Wherever pi is, they put 180 divided by 6. So what is the answer? It's 210. So what I will write is 4, 210. I will solve the multiple representation for this. And finally, I'll write back in pi values. Okay, this is the given question. I've written it wrong. It's minus 210, okay? Now, if I have minus 210, is it possible to subtract by 360? It will exceed, right? So in such cases, just change and add it. That's it. Now, this is the answer. One answer is same radius, 150 degrees. That's done. Now, the other answers will have minus 4, minus 4. But what about the degrees? So how do I find it? So I know the original is minus 210, right? So let me write minus 210. And let me add 180 to it. Okay, minus 30 works. And let me even subtract and check once. This is not working. So only adding 180 works, right? So let me write this value. Now for this particular value, minus 30. Don't go to subtract 360 because it obviously it will exceed, right? Since it's negative, add 360 to this. This is the other value, 330. So this is it. So now, how you, would you understand this? See this positive and positive. There are two values, right? They are related by 360s. Now, when you change, you should add 180, add or subtract 180, you'll get one of the value. Then these both are again related by 360. See, if you add 360, if it's beyond the limit, then subtract by 360. That is it. So these are the answers. But now you need to convert it to what? To radians, right? Now, ra this radius values are all right. This is already converted. Now, 150, how do you convert back? Just divide it by 180. So that is 5 by 6. So one of the answer is 4,5 by 6 pi. What about the other answers? Same thing, minus 30 is there, right? Okay. Minus 30, just divided by 180. The answer is 1 by 6. So basically it is minus 4, 1, minus 1 by 6 pi. 
or pi by 6 is 360, right? And lastly, over here, 330 divided by 180, it will be 11 by 6 pi. Now, over here, it's positive, 11 by 6 pi. So these are the multiple representation. See, now in your four options, now I don't know how exactly they'll give these options. Maybe you'll have a set of three, three, three answers. So if you just get any two, you can easily eliminate the other options and that would be the correct, okay? You can see over here, one answer was four comma five by five pi by six. Another one is, this is written as negative pi by six or negative one by six pi. And lastly over here, these two will have negative radius. It'll change. So same way, please do solve the others by yourselves. Over here, the answers are given and then check for the answers. Now, if it's in radian, I personally like to convert to degrees, solve it up, convert it back to radian. That's fine. If it's in degrees, it's simple. Over here, now don't go to subtract by 360, add by 360. You get 330. And what about 180? Add 180 and subtract 180. You'll directly get the answer. There's no problem with this one. Even over here, it's very simple. Everything. But over here, it'll be adding 360, okay? Not subtracting. See, over here, this is wrong. It should be added. So when you add, you will get 120. If you subtract, it's going to go exceed more than 360. That's how we do it. So that is the end of the question one, a simple one. Please remember the formulas. And if you're not getting the answer within the limit of minus 360 to 360 or minus 2 pi to pi, add again, just try to manipulate it and get the correct answer.